Hi Cancer, how are you? Welcome to your horoscope psychic tarot reading for the month of December 2022. Thank you for being so patient with your reading. Thank you for trusting me as your reader and make sure you like, share, subscribe to my channel if you're new. If you're new, by the way, I'm Lamar Townsend. I'm a psychic and energy channeler, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. If you would like a personal reading from me, you can text me at 703-791-9162, email me at lamar.townsend at gmail.com, or visit my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. If you wanted a reading, really quickly, this is my website, so once you've reached this page, you know you're on the right page. You can scroll down and read reviews, of course, from people who have purchased readings from me. You can also scroll down and follow me down here on Instagram and Facebook. And if you would like a reading, go right to the store section. This is where you can go to view all the rates, services, products, classes, candles, and different types of things that I do offer. And I do offer quite a lot. I offer email readings, phone readings, video recorded readings where you send your questions. And then I record myself doing your reading on my own time and then email you the video uh, your reading to download and keep within one to three days or less typically I also do offer uh, birth chart readings as well as candles I also offer past life readings mediumship readings if you want to connect to the spiritual realm um, I offer compatibility birth chart readings <clears throat> and so much more so if you'd be interested in any of these things, once again, check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and first cleanse the cards and see what's coming up for Cancer for December 2022. Thank you for cleansing and claiming energy of the stack when you pass reading. Amen, amen. Let's see what's coming up for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and all placements in between for the month of December 2022. I get the lover's card <clears throat> as your first card. The lover's card could represent passion, a passion, something you're passionate about, um, maybe someone you're passionate about or vice versa, someone could be passionate about you. Um, there could be a lot of nurturing energy coming um, from you this month, Cancer as well. A desire to nurture others, a desire to nurture your loved ones. So there could be an energy where people have a desire to nurture you and show how much you care or show how much they care about you and love you. But <clears throat> vice versa, there definitely could be something in your energy this month where you really want to show, you know, people or certain people in particular how much you care about them um, and how much you love them in some way, shape or form. Um... Some of you, there's something like, you're, I see you getting something you've always wanted, potentially. So this could be maybe you've always wanted, I don't know, like a big screen TV and you finally have the money to get it this month. Or you finally, you know, someone finally gifted it to you this month, maybe for the holiday, holidays or something like that. Like there's something where... Once again, that would fall in line of like the energy I was picking up earlier about someone showing you how much they care about you and love you truly. Like there's something about like that kind of energy. Um, very interesting. I love that. <clears throat> I get the five of wands connected to money, finances, and personal belongings. Definitely could be five of wands could represent drama. Five of wands could represent. Um, crossing of wires i want to say be careful of multiple charges in your bank accounts or watch your bank accounts closely this month i feel like maybe either there's multiple charges or like multiple payments that have been made but the timing of them like crosses wires so it's like it causes an issue like down the line somehow some way so just i would want to say 
monitor your bank accounts, particularly like <clears throat> if something, excuse me, allergies, but I just took an allergy pill, so we should be good here in a, a bit. Should kick in soon. <laughs> but um, there's an energy of monitor your bank accounts, particularly like when you swipe your card, I feel, in like whether or not the money immediately comes out or is held up. Because I feel like there could be some like discrepancies with this kind of energy. Or it's like I thought the money came out, but then it comes out a few days later. Like there's something about that. Just be mindful of that. Get the Three of Cups showing up connected to your thoughts, communication, and the mind. Yeah, I get like cel celebratory energy around you. It could just be the holidays for those of you that celebrate. Or there's just like an energy of appreciation in the air. Like I appreciate you. I want to show you my appreciation for you. It could be a difference of culture as well. So it could be... I don't know, it may not be Christmas. It could be Hanukkah. It could be some sort of celebration in another culture or religion. Like, there's something about, this is how we give thanks in our culture. This is how, this is the day that we celebrate this holiday. Like, there's something about this kind of energy which is like, oh, okay, wow. You know, it's like being open-minded to diversity in celebration. Diversity in celebrating maybe the same ideals, the same concepts, but maybe on different days, on... A different holidays like there's something about but it's all celebration it's all love like we all you know <clears throat> it's all about showing appreciation for each other the interesting thing is this is like I don't know if this involves necessarily just family or family in general I feel like there's something where like there could be this kind of energy of appreciation outside the family or appreciation like from Unex someone unexpected, possibly even. All right. Seven of Cups shows up connected to your emotions, family, and the home. Seven is the number of secrecy, life behind closed doors, and need for privacy, solitude. Seven of Cups can deal with the card of like um, substances, things of this nature. Um, questioning one's intention, secrets, things of this nature. Some of you may need to get away from the home. Some of you actually may need to, like, get out of the home. It could feel stuffy. Particularly if you live with other people, I feel like. Particularly if there's, like, if you're sharing, like, if you're sharing money, if you're sharing credit cards, if you're sharing. It's like you kind of, like, need a break. Alright. I get the hanged man showing up connected to your self-expression, creativity, romance. Your approach to getting what you want. There could be like an element of your hands tied behind your back in some way. I get the ten of cups though. I feel like the ten of cups shows up connected to your daily routine, work, job, health. I feel like there's a celebration connected to work or some sort of celebration that you are part of, that you walk in on, and it's like, welcome, like, you know, we appreciate you, like, I feel like there's something, you like, there's something where, even if you just walk into Starbucks, and it's like, it's, a, it's customer appreciation day, or like, you know, it's, you know, I don't know, whatever it could be, it's like, it's an energy, and it's an energy of the universe using someone else to get to you and say, we appreciate you, we love you, here's a token, here's a blessing, happy holidays, whatever it is, right? Or, I, like, I feel like there's a, it's a, there's a need to take it as that. Particularly if what, whatever else is going on. It's like the little things, the little thanks, the little blessings this month. Yeah, I get the star card showing up connected to your one-on-one -on -one relationships, business partnerships, things of this nature. Yeah, I feel like this month you're shown uh, in some way, shape, or form, Cancer, that you are, you are appreciated. Someone is paying attention to you. Someone is aware of like your wants, your desires. Someone is aware of you and wants you to be happy. All right. 
Nine of Wands shows up connected to change, evolution, and growth for you, though. The Emperor shows up connected to long distance travel, higher education, personal opinions, beliefs. This could be you, the Emperor. Emperor could also be a ca Cancer, this definitely could be you, Cancer, Capricorn, Libra, Aries, or Sagittarius. Um, it's okay to be non-traditional. Just because you've always done things a certain way, do things your way this year. Celebrate your way this year, Cancer. It's okay. I think people will understand. The last card I get is the Queen of Cups. This also could be you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Female or feminine energy. Going towards change. You can always come back home. You can always revert back to your home base, whatever it is. But it's okay to do things differently this year. Go towards where you're appreciated, Cancer. <clears throat> Go towards where you feel appreciated. Truly. Like, truly appreciated. Alright. Because you are appreciated. Someone does appreciate you. I mean, of course, I appreciate you, you know, but I'm, you know, technically just a person on the screen, you know. There's someone else out there in your personal life that also appreciates you, that loves you. And I feel like wants to show you this year. So if someone maybe invites you out and says, hey, come over for the holidays. Hey, come over to celebrate. You know, even if it's someone outside the normal person you would celebrate with, it's like, maybe go. Or maybe instead of going over this person's place to celebrate, go over that person's place to celebrate. Or just do your own thing. Like, there's something about, it's okay to be different. Like, don't be afraid of breaking the normal tradition. What final message does uh, Spirit have for Cancer? Okay, let's see what you got. It says, I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. Spirit's trying to teach you a lesson about love in some way. Follow love. Follow the energy of love. Follow where you are appreciated. All right. All right. Thank you for allowing me to read for you, Cancer. I hope I was able to give you some clarity and insight. If you would like your own personal reading from me, Definitely visit my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Text me at 703791 or email me at lamar.townsend at gmail.com. Thank you so much for your support. Love and light. God bless. I'll see you in your own personal reading. I'll see you in the next video. Either way, we'll see you soon. Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me. That's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me. That's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time. That's me. That's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time. That's me. That's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong. That's me. That's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong. That's me. That's me. 
I don't care what the others say Let's channel some energy today I don't care what the others say Let's channel some energy today Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong This tarot card reading about to be long Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong This tarot card reading about to be long Psychic with the T, the psychic with the T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me. That's me.